Hello everybody, welcome back. Taylor here and I have a collective kind of beauty haul slash accessory haul. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Um, all the makeup I'm going to say have been collective. A lot of the stuff I did show on my Instagram but I thought that I would film a video because I have quite a few um, bits that I've gotten over the past few months to show you guys and also I have some things that I've gotten from Plato's Closet and Animal Ball Fashion that I will also want to share with you guys. So I will start off with the um, things I got today um, just because it will be the easiest and also one of the things I got last week. So this is a big old Plato bag. First thing I'll start off would be this ring. Um, it's a really pretty kind of X cross X ring and it has stones in it. It was eight bucks, and I thought it was really cute. Next thing from Revolve Fashion is this awesome Jessica Simpson hat. Still new with the tags. Originally forty-eight dollars. Was priced at eighteen at Revolve. So just can't wait to wear this. That's a look, and you can totally like mold the brim and everything like that. I think it looks so cool. So, what do you guys think? I really like it. I can't I can't wait to wear it, so got that. Can't believe it. New it tag. Amazing deal. Okay. The next two things are from Plato's Closet. I got this last week along with two t shirts from my husband, but they're just plain t shirts, so it's boring, I'm not gonna show you guys. But I got this really long, huge, dark cheetah print scarf. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I did have another cheetah print scarf, but it was from some boutique brand and it was like really itchy and like, it was like really rough. But this is super soft and I love the color and the print, of course. I think this was like four bucks. And last thing I got was awesome, I cannot believe it, that I found inside Plato's Closet. It's this navy... Do you see that guy? Do you see that? Sea Wonder tote. And it's like in really good condition. It was only $10. $10. And of course, use my discount. But yeah. It has a big zipper pull that says Sea Wonder on it. Really nice. So you can clip it down. I love the I love the gold, I love the hardware, it has um, two pockets on one side and a zip pocket on the other side, everything's marked, Sea Wonder, it says Sea Wonder, and it's my first uh, Sea Wonder item that I own and I'm really excited, I'm so excited for this tote. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that's all the accessory clothing um, that I got from Revolve and Play-Dohs. I do have two other accessory items that I got. Um, oh no, something fell off. So I got this March 20th, it was the 26th, it was on a Thursday, um, and I went to Walmart and Sephora. So I got, everyone's been hauling the necklaces, the statement necklaces they have at Walmart because they're on sale. Um, they had mine on sale for $3, originally $4.97. I got two pairs. So I got this one because it's mint. It's mint. It's like a mint green. And it has gold. And it has the earrings with it. So that was $3. Really like that. And I've kind of been getting into white jewelry lately. So I definitely wanted another white necklace. I only had two before that. So I got this set. And it has more of a thinner chain, one little rhinestone uh, at the bottom here and the white stones and the earrings to go with it. So that was a good deal. I mean, $6 is what you would probably pay for one necklace at Forever 21. Okay, moving on to all the beauty bits. Um, so I'll start with the most recent things that I've gotten. Um, let's do skincare and hair. So... So I got this the other day at Walgreens. It was on sale for $3.74 and it's their Olay Fresh Effects 
Vava Vivid Powered Contour. Um, it's basically like Olay's version of the Clarisonic. It's just a very small generic version. So it comes in this box and it comes with, as it shows you there, the little machine um, and the cleanser and also it comes with a battery. I was kind of surprised that it was so small. So it comes in this package like this. I've already used it twice and I've used it on my husband too. And I do like it. Um, I do notice that my face kind of feels glowy and nice and soft in the morning. So this is what it looks like. It's a triangle shape and it has like all these little um, brushes and, stuff. and then um, just turn it on and it starts uh, vibrating. And then this is the Shine Shine Go Away Shine Minimizing Cleanser. And it has kind of like um, a soapy smell. But the weird thing is that it's like silver. Like, can you see that? It's like, I'll have to do some close ups, but it's like silver. So, which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird, but anyways, what am I trying to say? So it's kind of silver, but it does lather up when you put water on it. And it does leave my face feeling very smooth and clean and fresh. Clean and fresh with fresh effects. Anyway, so that was one thing. I just thought it was a good deal for $3 and some change. Next face product is one that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's this White Rain Boutique Collection Facial Cleanser and Makeup Remover Foamy Face Wash to gentle, Gently Remove Makeup for Soft Skin. It's paraben free. It just looks like this. Um, they had a couple different ones in there like a face scrub one, like a foot, foot scrub um, and I think another facial cleanser. They had about three or four different ones but I got this one because I was out of makeup white and I just wanted something that's going to be gentle and clean off my makeup so um yeah I got this for a dollar just looks like this and it's um four ounces so I thought that was a good deal another thing that I've been loving that I got off of the Dollar Tree is for your hair it's um the Via Natural Ultra Care Argan Oil and it makes hair stronger and healthier, nourishes and protects hair and scalp. Um, it's concentrated natural oils, moisturizing oil for hair, scalp and body. And as you can see I've used quite a bit of this. I think it's great when I do wear my hair natural and I want to do my hair like a twist out, braid out, I'll just put this on after um, I've taken the rollers out and it kind of keeps my hair nice and soft and from getting dry because I've been having that problem lately, especially in the winter time with my hair being really dry. So I got this for a dollar. Okay, moving on to other Dollar Tree finds. I guess I might as well just pull these all out. Um, one thing that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree, but it was a dollar ninety nine. I got it at the same time I got this. It was one ninety nine, and it's this Wet n Wild um, Brow Icon Brow Kit for brunettes. They had one for blondes, and they had one for I think black. And this is what it looks like. Comes in this package here. Shows you how to do it. So it comes with. the brow pencil and it has the pencil on one side that's capped and it has the spoolie on the other side which is nice I actually used it today and I haven't really used um, the shapers yet I kind of just go with the natural shape of my eyebrows for now um, because I usually just fill them and I usually don't go crazy and make it really overly defined or arched but if I wanted to I'll have these Come in handy. $1.99. Walgreens. Okay. So the next few items are, like I said, from the Dollar Tree. And I will start off with kind of a tool. This is the e.l.f. Small Taper Brush. And this has been my favorite brush 
Um, recently, it's from their prof their professional collection. I love the black sleek handle. The brushes are nice. They're synthetic, so they do really great. Um, it's just, as you can see, it's very dense and it's like a dome. Well, it tapered. The top, this is perfect for getting the hollows of your cheek, for contour, um, good for highlights, uh, just buffing things out. I just really, really like this. Love it for bronzers. Um, you can even use it for blush, but I really love this brush. Great find for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I love finding e.l.f. products or other name brand products at the Dollar Tree. Um, like the next item that I have, which is this Alme um, Clear Complexion Concealer Plus Treatment Gel. And so the one side has Twist Up Stick Concealer, which is a little bit lighter, but when you rub it out, it does cover pretty well. I do use this all the time, and I used it today. And then on the bottom is the, it's a salad, it's a blemish gel, it's supposed to be, um, help, what am I trying to say? This part is supposed to be a gel, it's a treatment gel, it's supposed to help, um, get rid of breakouts, little spots. This is basically salicylic acid, um, which is great for me. I always find that um, when I'm using acne treatments that have salicylic acid in it, that it works really quick for me. So, just have like an aloe vera gel scent slash hand sanitizer scent to it. And the color I got is in 200 light medium for a dollar. Alme. The next um, thing that I got is this, from the Dollar Tree is this LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. And I was kind of mad because I thought I was getting the black one. Because the only other liquid eyeliner that I have right now is a felt tip marker. It's my um, Georgiana Fabu Liner. And I just wanted something with a more, with a more precise um, line so I could do a more precise cat eye. But it was this is brown and I was kind of mad because I thought it got black and I kept in my purse for the longest time with the receipt to go exchange it at Dollar Tree but I just end up using it because it's nice for those days when you want a dramatic cat eye but since it's brown it's not as harsh so it just has this very thin brush which um, I have to admit I got used to using the felt tip marker you really have to have a lot of control and go really slow with this because I mean, you can get a really thin line or you can get a thick line. So those are what it looks like right there. Um, it dries pretty well, so yeah, it's just a dollar liquid liner. Next, moving on to the lippies that I got from the Dollar Tree. The first one that I got, um, I've got this a while back been using it a lot because as you can see the color is rubbing off and it's an elf matte lip pencil I, I've actually bought three other matte lip pencils from the Dollar Tree that are elf but the new color I got rid of because it just did not look good on me it totally washed me out but I have persimmon and coral but this is the color rich red 30405 uh, and it's nice because it's just like a crayon. It rolls up. And I love this color. It's a nice, nice red. It's a swatch there for you. And then I got another red. I got one of these LA Color Chunky Lip Pencils. I've been looking for these forever. Everyone had hauled these months ago. And I finally found one. Um, they only had the one, and I believe this is coral. Of course, when you take it out of the container, the packaging, it doesn't have the color on it, but this is another one. It's a, it's definitely a reddish coral. It's a brighter red, as you can see, compared to the elf rich red that's right there. But I do love the lip pencil. 
and so the lip crayons. Um, the next thing that I got is an NYC, um, their Applicious Brilliant, their Applicious Glossy Lip Balms, and they have a little apple on the inside, and they smell really nice, like candy, and the color I got is 001 Delicious Macaroon, and it's just basically a sheer gloss. I mean, sometimes you can get a little bit of wash of color of that kind of coral. I have it on right now. But, um, you don't get a lot. It's this color right there. So just a nice glossy lip balm. Yeah, so those are all the drugstore and... I believe that's... Oh, not all the drugstore. Okay, this is all the drugstore and Dollar Tree. Um, the last thing I have that's drugstore-ish is from Walmart and this is totally a YouTube made me buy it item because I had watched Makeup Jam, Jessica I believe, oh I hope I'm not getting this wrong but um, she had did a great review on the Hard Candies Natural Eye Neutral Eye Collection palette versus I think it's called the Neutral or Natural Eyes by Too Faced. And when she put them side by side, it looked almost identical. The shades that are the same. And then I went to Sephora earlier that day when I went to go um, purchase. I went to Sephora first. I saw the palette and saw that it was $38. And then I went to Walmart and I got this for $8. So... And I've been using it ever since, so I got it like last month and I've been using it. So it has a mirror there, it has a nice little booklet that kind of goes over um, different three different looks you can use, you can do. And it has these nine shades here. It comes with a primer, the primer is pretty good. The liner is also really nice, it's like a, it's called the Take Me Out Liner by Heart Candy. It's really nice. It has a little brush. But I don't really use I love the ones I've been using the most have been these two colors here, um, these two browns, and then this color. And I'm not going to swatch them for you because I can try and see if I can find a link to her video because she swatches everything. She compares them and she definitely made me want to buy this because $8 compared to like $32 is pretty good in my book and I have been loving it so I like neutral palettes I like neutral eye looks because I like wearing bright lips or I just think it's easier I used to buy all those crazy colors back in the day and I just realized that I never would wear them as much or people would say they look weird okay last three items are from Sephora I needed more makeup brush shampoo so I got this same old, same old as always, the antibacterial formula, great. And then I got my free um, gift and I was able to get the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and the Satin Lip Pencil. Um, so I was excited about that. So I have this one which is Corella, and it's a red, it's a beautiful red and it's completely matte. Not quite, yeah, the Elf is not quite a dupe for Cruella because Cruella is more of a deeper red and it's more matte, whereas you can see the Elf, see the Elf has a little shine to it. This is, so this is a NARS um, satin lip pencil in the color Rakiguin. Rikiguin. It's R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. Um, tell me if you know how to pronounce that. But it's a really pretty color. And it, like it's, like it says, it's a satin finish. So it has a little shimmer to it. And it, for me, is a total My Lips But Better color. Or it's like a, it's more of like a mauve color, but not as purple. And that's it, guys. That's all the stuff that I got. 
Uh, I hope this video is not too long, but thank you so much for watching. And I just want to say a big welcome to all my new subscribers and all those who've been commenting on my videos recently. I really want to thank you guys because it really does make my day to know that people are actually watching my videos and appreciate the stuff that I'm doing. So yeah, that's everything I have. And I will talk to you all next time. Please leave a comment down below if you want to see um, more beauty hauls from me. I know they're not the most watched videos on my channel, but I still like to do them because I'm a girl and I love makeup. Um, so let me know if you want me to do any type of makeup tutorials with these, um, any of the products that I showed you guys today. Or if you even want to see beauty hauls, or if you just want me to stick to my thrifting and clothing hauls. Um, yeah, and if there's any video ideas you want to see from me guys, just see if you want to see from me. <laughs> and if there's any video ideas that you guys want to see from me, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like, share, and please, please subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye!